What's up, Chaos Nation? Big Rob here, CEO and founder of Chaos Nutrition. On this beautiful, gorgeous day, balmy 67 degrees out here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And uh, topic of discussion today is gonna be uh, when you piss daddy off, when you piss off the powers that be, what happens to you? Um, <laughs> Let's get right to it, shall we? Um, so last week, your boy was feeling it. And, uh, you know, you just get on one of those uh, tangents where the truth just has to be told. Well, I guess for some, for most, for many, uh, it's just too much. So I gave a 13-minute presentation. I'm pretty much just laying out the facts as I see it gave my opinion and uh, it was just rendered that uh, it was just inappropriate as far as uh, giving out medical information now I first and foremost I would say I'm not I'm not a doctor not a physician not a lawyer not an attorney um, and everything that we discuss is basically opinionated um, you're more than welcome to go out do your own research come up with your own opinion Hell, as a matter of fact, I wish you would just go out there, take my word for, you know, what it is, and just go do your own research and find out for yourself if, in fact, what I'm saying is even true because we're just having a discussion here. And that's one thing I wanted the powers to be to know is that, you know, there's still, you know, that coffee shop mentality where we're allowed to, uh, and I don't care. I mean, it, 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 if they don't want me to play on their platform is that, if that's concerned, we are always gonna have the right to communicate freely. Um, I'm not saying anything that's incorrect. Um, I'm not saying thing that, anything that's insightful. I, I'm just laying out my opinion. Um, it, it doesn't have to be 100% correct. As a matter of fact, opinion is really just opinion until it's stated fact, right? I mean. Uh, scientists do it all the time, don't they? I mean, don't don't they do like formulated tests until, uh, which is a hypothesis until it becomes, you know, factual science work? I don't know. I mean, I, I you know, I didn't become a scientist or an astronaut, so I don't I don't know. So I'm I'm asking these questions to the general public. But you know, like I said, there's a part of you know my video was basically talking about a sponsored athlete coming aboard uh, that we're bringing a few athletes uh, in the next few weeks and it's going to be pretty awesome. I mean, every week for the next four weeks, I'm bringing on a sponsored athlete. I'm not seeing that uh, anywhere else in the fitness industry. Uh, everyone else is just sitting around waiting for things to open and I, I'm trying to just put it all together and say, hey, I, I'm getting ready for it to open. I'm not just sitting here waiting on my hands, uh, we're, we're, we're trying to forge through and push this thing open. So, I mean, um, you can be afraid to lose business, you can be afraid to lose family and relatives and friends, I'm not. I'm gonna be who I am right up to the very end. And I, I'm not gonna hold punches, and if it hurts your feelings, I you know, it is what it is. Um, because, you know, I'm just being honest with the situation. If you want to sit there and well, I don't talk politics. I don't. I don't talk religion. I. I just want to talk about you know what I talk about because that's what it's about. Well, then you become one-dimensional and boring as fuck. And that's my opinion. I see it all the time. The same fucking workout video. The same lunges. You're not winning, Mr. Olympia. You're not winning, Miss Olympia. Now, Nick Walker might be. That boy's cream of the crop. Shout out to Nick Walker. I've been following that young man for quite some time. And uh, he's been following me back. So I appreciate it for quite some time. Um, you know, but for, for everyone else, I mean, you're doing, you're doing a great job. Awesome. You're in the gym. You're working hard. That's great. But don't be one dimensional. Don't be a one trick pony. You don't have to talk politics. But don't also stand by the wayside and just let humanity fall off the face of the earth because you're too afraid to open your mouth. It's okay to have an opinion. It's okay to have a discussion. Whether you're on the other side or not, 
talk about it. And that's one thing I really dislike is there was a lot of trash talking going on, especially on my Facebook from some people uh, who I consider family and friends, tight friends, very close people that were, you know, pro Joey. And all of a sudden you can't get them to even pop a lip. So do your thing, man. Be, listen, there's often times where I picked the underdog and we lost. And it sucks because you kind of go into it knowing you're going to lose, but you're hopeful that somehow that that underdog can pull it off uh, because, you know, being the underdog is awesome sometimes. I mean, that's a, that's a great story. Now, I will say it's awesome as well when you're the alpha dominant athlete and you're putting your foot on the neck of the opponent and uh, you're triumphant every single time, there's nothing wrong with winning, in my opinion. Uh, that's what we do things for, to win. Uh, that's what, you know, a lot of things in life is about winning. I never really always want to wake up in the morning and say, damn, how can I go out there and be a loser? So I'm going off on a tangent there, but I'm, I'm going to dial it all back in by just saying, be true to who you are. Don't, don't worry about being, you know, uh, persecuted on YouTube or Facebook or getting a video taken down or whatever it might be. Just be you. Be genuine. At the end of the day, that's what's going to pay off. Nobody wants someone that's just out here spouting at the mouth, doesn't know anything what they're talking about. Uh, but if it's your opinion and, and you believe it, that's your opinion, man. Go with it. Um, but again, uh, not to beat a dead horse, but man, please stop being one dimensional. Uh, I know you like to work out, think it's awesome, but let's talk something else, man. Talk about how you prepare your food or you know, maybe you got a shoe collection you could talk about or you got some pets. I don't know. But mix it up a little bit, especially on Instagram. Shit's getting boring, man. I fly through and I'm like, God, I can't eat. Not even a meme that makes me, like, happy about it. So I don't want to unfollow people, but it, some people are just boring. So anyways, you know, when we have these discussions about politics and so on and so forth, it's to, it's to incite your mind. It's to spark some interest to make you think uh, instead of just going throughout your day in a utopia where you think everything's okay. Because from the looks of it, man, it looks it looks butter and bread, man. It looks, you know, peanut butter and jelly. Just, we look like everything's just fine. Buildings are going up. People are going to the gym. People are out shopping. Apparently they can afford gas. Doesn't really look like a food shortage. We got a lot of big people. Um, I don't know. So when people tell me, hey man, that, you know, the Armageddon's coming, I don't really see it where I live. Maybe it's because I'm privileged, I don't know. Um, maybe, I don't know. But I see a lot of people doing the same things they do every day. Um, but don't get lackadaisical and just thinking that the surface, everything's okay. Because underneath, uh, there's a lot of things bubbling and it, it's weird. So we ask, ask yourself those questions. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, like I said, using your mind to, to think about some of these things and going and doing your own research and then coming up with your own answers and wowing yourself when you really find out uh, what's going on. And for some of you that are awake and understand what's going on, uh, I know I'm just speaking to the choir, but there are some of you that, you know, really just don't know what I'm talking about and uh, you're, you're kind of confused. So what, like I said, what I recommend is to start back in 1963 and move forward and and do your research uh history books whatever it may be and find what interests you um i've got a great friend andrew who uh i, I consider him family um but you know also a great friend and a fellow jarhead who uh in the beginning <laughs> used to think i was like a space cadet ufo freak um <laughs> but nowadays he uh really praises the work that i've done and uh the time that i've taken to do the research and to provide accurate information to help those wake up. So it is a journey. It's not something you're gonna do overnight. Um, it's just like your weightlifting, man. You're gonna go to the gym two, three hours a day for five years, and for some of that, you're gonna look the same, and for other times, you're gonna look better. Uh, but for the most part, every time you're getting in there, you're just that much better every day. So ending the video on a positive note, I've taken enough of your time. I always say, stay ride or die for your circle. Uh, make sure you're getting out there, doing whatever, whatever the fuck it takes, man. Um, no matter what your goal is in life, if you're not out there doing whatever it takes 
then uh, I'll guarantee you, you're not doing what's necessary to obtain your goals and you're probably not gonna make it. So work even harder than you think you can work and push that envelope even further every single time. Keep pushing those limits. Uh, no easy way out, folks. No shortcut home. Uh, hate to break it to you, but that's just the way it is. Uh, you're not gonna be able to uh, get to the end result without going through some stuff because every level reveals its next devil. So, you know, we are we are on some levels, man, and we are being tested uh, every single day. So stick to your guns, stick to what you know, and keep working hard. Uh, take care of those around you. And like I said, uh, stay focused and, uh, you know, stay healthy. Get out there, check out chaosnutrition.com. Like, subscribe, follow, share, do whatever you can. We appreciate you. Um, and uh, like I said, from the bottom of my heart to all you guys, uh, you know, I hope you're out there doing the right things, getting things done. And you're not looking at all these videos as doom and gloom because uh, at the end of every dark night, uh, there's going to be a morning where there's that bright sun. So get out there and get after it. And uh, even though things look uh, a little abysmal at times, just know we're going to get through it as we are going to get to it. So till next time, guys, I'm out.